Right, in this video, we're going to construct a prediction interval um, for this data where I have um, income per person and life expectancy. And I'll provide the link to this um, Excel spreadsheet in the description of this video. Also, I'll provide the link to our discussion about constructing a confidence interval um, for this uh, data. Um, you'll notice that our confidence interval estimate um, is going to be very similar to the way that we're going to calculate the uh, prediction interval. So uh, in our previous video, uh, we ended it by uh, providing this formula here for the prediction interval. So now let's use this formula. Okay, And actually, it is so similar to the uh, confidence interval that I, I'm actually going to take a lot of this and copy it and put it over here. Okay, so let's paste it here and let's take all of this actually and so I press control C and control V. Okay, so I still want to use the um, 40k. I want to predict the life expectancy when someone makes 40k. I still want a 95% confidence or 95% prediction interval. Um, y hat. If I double click, I can see that it's still using it's using the correct formula, where I have the intercept uh, plus the slope times um, our our value of x naught 40k. Uh, press enter there. The um, n, the sample size is 187. That stays the same. T is the same since I didn't change the confidence level, so that's going to be the same. S is also the same as it was before. Um, let me double click here so I can see this. This is the numerator piece right here, x um, naught minus x bar squared, and that's going to be the same as it was for the confidence interval. And SXX is also going to be the same as it was for the confidence interval. So what's going to change is all this stuff over here. Okay, so instead of having a CI, I'm going to have a PI. So let me delete that and write PI. PI. Okay, and let me just go ahead and delete all these things. Okay, so um, my margin of error, it's all of this stuff over here to the right of this plus or minus sign. So let's type in equals T. And then I'll do times, open parentheses, this value of s, okay, times the square root s, q, r, t, open parentheses, this is the square root sign here, okay, 1 plus 1 divided by n, right, so this 1 plus 1 divided by n plus this numerator, this x naught minus x bar squared, divided by the denominator is SXX, okay? And then close your parentheses and press enter. All right, so my lower prediction interval is gonna equal the estimate minus that margin of error I just calculated. And the upper is gonna be the estimate plus this margin of error, all right? So we are 95% confident that if I were to go out and get uh, another observation, right? If I were to observe uh, life expectancy for um, a country that makes 40K, I'm 95% confident that that new observation, right? So not, not that the uh, mean, right? It's not that the mean is going to be between these numbers, but that one new observation is going to be between 62.9 and 91.6, okay? Their, their life expectancy, I'm 95% uh, sure that the uh, new value um, will be between these two numbers.